so tired of that. Every pair, dude. Every pair. Every time I rip them. I'm so sick of ripping my shoelaces. The beginning of 2021, I set out to find a shoelace that will not break because I don't have to tell you, we as skateboarders break our shoelaces more than anything else. And let me just pause for a second, take this time to sincerely apologize for not having the shoe reviews here on the beautiful, glorious Ride Channel. But good news for you, I have a whole backlog of two years worth of shoe reviews over on my channel, so you can go check those out if you want. But the more important task at hand, over two months ago, I started to make a series out of me trying to find my supplier for my shoelace that won't break. If you've been watching my videos, then you know I've been working really hard on trying to find someone to make me my unbreakable shoelace so I can provide it for you guys. I've been messaging and emailing back and forth between people in China and Vietnam and all these random places because I want to make a skateboarding shoelace that will never break. I hate it when my goddamn laces get ripped, bro. I want my shoelace to last people forever because I hate ripping my shoelaces and I know you're probably thinking, oh, Christian, I, you just put a little bit of shoe goo on it. No, that's disgusting. I don't want some snot rocket on my shoelace while I'm skating. That looks stupid and I hate it. Also, it looks terrible on the shoe itself. They send me these samples. They'll send me shoelaces like this. I've messaged so many people, I need these samples and I need to test them. This also isn't gonna last. Then they're like, this will be good for you. This looks like it's made out of like a, like a plastic. Here, take these. It's cool, it's like a little iPod case, but also at the same time, not selling iPods. And I tell them, no, it won't be. Again, really cool metal tips. Take that and apply it to something else. But also, trash shoelaces again. And they're like, no, try it. Same material as the other thing, just also stupid colors, not gonna last. All this stuff. More samples and more, more shoelaces that all rip. Get the samples, and one of the samples that I thought would be one of the best samples to start skating is in this shoe. I'm gonna roll around, try to get used to these and see how they skate for this first session. This is a sample that they sent me that was like, oh, it's a wax shoelace. It's it's not gonna rip, it'll be fine. And I looked at it, I'm like, out of all the ones that they sent me, this one felt like it might be the one. Who knows, it might be the one. I'd say yes to the dress to this one. It'd be the one that I put the ring on. The one that I'm like, this is the one I'm gonna make available for my homies. This is the one that I'm gonna be like, yo, y'all shoes aces ain't gonna rip no more, right? It already started to rip. Messaged them immediately and said, hey, your shoelaces, they ripped. They didn't work. Please, if you can make some out of this material, then I will be able to uh, use you guys. But, haven't heard back from them yet. So, as it stands right now, I have samples on samples of laces and none of them look better than this one. So, I haven't even bothered with trying them because I know they're gonna tear just as easily as this one did. And that's where we are with the quest for the unbreakable shoelace. I, I just got these, so I'm fast forwarding to now because obviously those ones didn't work and none of the ones that they told me would work. Would work. And these are the equivalent of Kevlar laces, supposedly. But now I'm gonna go lace these up on my S shoes because the, the lace placement of the S slims is like horrible. Like they ripped after the 101 kick flips. So I'm gonna go skate for a little while in those shoes with these, take a break from skating the shoes that I'm currently skating because those laces haven't ripped on the shoes that I'm currently skating. But, if this, if this holds up, then this is your laces, boys. I'm using my phone too, because I didn't want to go grab my camera. All right. Not these. Keep trying to do different ones. None of them freaking work. I don't know which ones to get. 
Then a few weeks after that, they sent me the shoelace that they said I and all skateboarders would supposedly need. Okay, update. Now, I just got a pair of laces that are, this, this is supposed to be what is the ones I'm gonna use. They told me, no, since those didn't work, these are gonna work. This is what they sent me. I can't scare it now because it's raining, but I decided to stop and film this opening so I can look at them. I hope that they work. I hope that they, they at least look like they're gonna work. Hmm. It looks like it's gonna be good. Actually, it doesn't look like trash. This is the lace that they sent me that they said was gonna work. But now they're saying that this is the one that's gonna work. Honestly, I feel like they're just saying that because they want me to use them. So like, oh, this is gonna work. No, this is gonna work. I have to test it. Can't test it right now because it's raining. So, uh, I'll test it in a little bit. In that giant batch of shoelaces, they gave me wax laces, they gave me Kevlar laces, they gave me some other type of materials that were supposedly not going to tear. Honestly, they just taken advantage of me because I don't know what I'm looking for yet. But, I'm gonna figure it out. When they gave me these, they said, oh, these shouldn't tear. So I've been skating with these laces for the past week now. And at this point, I'm only trying to make it so that the shoelace doesn't tear all the way through. If they start to get like a little scratch, that's okay. And so far, these have only gotten a little scratch, and therefore, number one contender right here, all right? To make sure that they're not gonna tear, I'm gonna take them out of these shoes because I've only been skating them with these laces for a week. And then I'm going to put them into these shoes, which is the shoes that the patrons voted for for the next shoe review. I need to finish unlacing these so I can put them into those and start skating them. One thing that I still need to test is the round version of this lace. Let me know if you guys want round laces or if you only want flat ones because I'm focusing on the flat ones because that's just what I like to skate. So I was making sure to get the flat ones. But if you like round ones, let me know in the comments. It is raining right now, so after I'm done lacing these, I want to go to like a parking garage or something to try to do as many kickflips as I can with these shoes and, you know, kind of break them in a little bit. And also, more importantly, see how these shoelaces hold up against a bunch of kickflips. And this lace placement. Let's go do a bunch of kickflips. See? This. This is what I'm trying to solve. Got home just in time. I got back just in time before I started hailing. But I did a bunch of kick flips. I did a bunch of other flip tricks and just a bunch of flippy floppies everywhere. And you know what? These laces haven't torn in the least bit and it's going right on where the abrasions would happen for your shoelaces on this shoe. And at this point, I did not see a lot of damage to the shoelaces, but just me skating them isn't a really good testing point. So I had to give them to some of my homies, but that, that, not just some of my homies, but my homies that are really good at skating. I cannot leave this completely up to me and my skating. So my homie June and my homie Brian, who I had a session with today, agreed to skate these laces with me. And da -da -da -da. Are June and Brian good? First off, I already know you know June is good because he's in my videos doing ridiculous stuff all the time. I'm also gonna give a pair to my homie Maddie. 
Now he got the wettest nollie flips I have ever seen. I just tell him to do nollie flips just because I like watching him do it. Ryan's literally one of the best skateboarders that I know. I have a lot of friends that are really good, but he's like the top five of the best skateboarders that I actually know. Not to mention, Brian's laces are already mixed matched because he ripped them already. So hopefully these make it so that his laces don't rip. But yeah, Brian's literally like the funniest, coolest dude and super good at skating and always very encouraging when we skate. But don't worry, I've definitely been putting these through the ringer, uh, f through my ringer. I made sure to do a lot of kickflip tricks that I don't normally do. I haven't even kickflipped that double set at PQ since I was like a teenager. So that was really hard. <laughs> Luckily, June came over and was like, you want me to do it with you, buddy? And I was like, yeah, do it with me. And then he did it really good. But let's check these out. So for the most part, it kind of just seems like general wear. There are some abrasions on the lace, but it's not really like ripping through a lot. But I've been skating these for like three weeks and honestly, if there were some other laces, they definitely would have broke through already. It's it's looking it's looking good. I'm optimistic, boys. I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot more. You, I feel a lot more better about these than any of the other ones. They haven't ripped. They haven't torn through. I don't want to make it just like just because they haven't ripped for me that I'm just gonna put it out. I need to make sure that my friends are cool with them. And if they don't rip for my friends, then I gotta tell you, boys. I think this is it. But also, I don't have a ton of money, so I'm only gonna buy a limited supply when I get them. After testing them for so long, they still didn't break, and my friends skating them and theirs didn't break, I decided to make them available for the homies subscribed to my channel. After my first session... Friday needs to come sooner, my man. Goodness gracious, it's here. These are the stickers for the packaging for my shoelaces. And these are the bags for the packaging for my shoelaces. And these are my shoelaces. If you want to get them now, then go to notsponsored.shop, link down below, where you can get yourself some of these. And as you can tell, this is not a very big box, so go get them while supplies last. And also, the cost of them right now will be a little bit less than the next run of these. So, uh, get them at this price point. Very crucial. Let me know what you guys think about them when you get them. Because I still have not broken mine. Which is why, right after this, we're gonna go meet up with my friends and go give them these laces and see if they rip them in their first session, which they shouldn't, because these are gonna be amazing. Oh! Hell yeah! And there you have it. The first Packaged, ready to go, F-ripped shoelaces, shoelace. I'm hyped, I'm super hyped. Uh, let's go give these to the homies. Not just one shoe though. Just Which one? Shoe. The one that flips a lot? Okay. So you, you put it on one shoe? Yeah. But it's the flicking one, right? Yeah.
you on the caster slide. Pretty good. No tears? Nothing. Do they usually tear really fast? But yeah, usually they do. That first batch of shoelaces went immediately, so I re-upped and got a lot more. My favorite thing about them so far is that that first sample that they gave me over two months ago, I still haven't broke them. And the ones that I gave June definitely got put to the test. All right, so I was trying that Casper Slide 360 one and a half flip for about two hours. And with normal laces, I probably would have gone through like three sets already. But two hours of Casper Slides, barely showing some wear, but it's not really even ripping. It's just kind of starting to fray a little bit. These things are legit, man. I have been skating this particular pair of my unbreakable shoelace for over a month now, and they're still going strong. White laces and some black laces in 50 inch, 60 inch, and 70 inch. They're available on pre-order right now at notsponsored.shop. So when you go there and make sure that you get yours, that means that when I receive them in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be able to send them directly to you. So go make sure you get yours because the other ones literally sold out in like 20 minutes. And that was like in the middle of the day, not when I put out the video. So if you're watching this right now and I just put this out, hopefully they're still there. I did keep a couple of pairs of shoelaces from the first batch to give to some of my homies. Yeah. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you, so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a f that's what they don't understand. I'm back again like flu season, I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now on my roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care, uh, did the for my lonesome, no wonder now I'm on one, no shortcuts on that long run, all I really want is my share, uh, get him, I got him, I told him it's nothing, in the discussion. Woo. Are you filming this, dude? Dan, you're supposed to be, like, encouraging. Wait, so is our goal to break these laces? Because I'm about to do that shit. Yeah, right? June did Casper slides for two hours with them, and nothing happened. That's because I got, I got a trick for it. Nah, these aren't gonna break. I can feel them. <laughs> you did pretty good, dude. Thank God. Are we filming? Yeah, dude. I'm gonna talk about these laces because 
this is something that I think every skater's always talked about. Like, you need indestructible shoelaces. Now, me in particular, I'm gonna point out why I'm so stoked in these laces. Look how I ripped my shoes. I have to glue this back down because my ollie, I ollie with the entire side of my foot. When I do kickflips, my foot's that much on the board, so all of that is catching it. So I rip shoelaces down here. This lace, this lace, this lace, and this lace are done automatically. So, so far there's like no real tear marks or anything in them, and I haven't been doing a ton of flip tricks or skating a lot in them yet, but I've been skating enough that it should be starting to rip. I pretty much go through a pair of shoelaces a day. Like, you can see like this one, this one's like a new one. And look, it's already about to be done here and here. And that's my switch foot, and Lord knows I can't skate switch. I mean, yeah, I get marks back here. So Dylan, me and Dylan were just talking about it, and he said that a company came out where it was like a, a coating of some sort of shoelace over top of like a harder nylon on the inside, and that broke in a day or two for him. So uh, if this is real or is as good as it seems to be, every skateboarder should probably like go out and get these. You can feel it. When you get them, you're going to be able to feel it. It's like a kind of a denser, it almost feels like it's moist, but it's not. It's like a very, very like durable material. Like you can tell just by like holding it. And what I like about how it's stiffer is when I tighten it, like because I ride my sho shoes really tight, it stays however you pull it. So it's not like you're gonna pull the shoelace tight and then it's gonna slowly loosen up on you. It literally like you pull the shoelace tight and since it has this like almost stickiness to it, it like stays wherever you leave it. So it's like true to pull. Like the second you put that shoelace in and you tighten it, that's how it's gonna stay the whole time. It's not like stretchy or spandexy or anything like that. Uh, so. I'm trying to talk Christian into starting a team because I, I need these all the time. I'm, I'm gonna go through these all like every single day. I, I think it's gonna be interesting to, instead of like, you know, uh, setting up a new board or whatever, to like be setting up a new pair of shoes with the same shoelaces, like getting a pair of shoes and pulling out brand new shoelaces and putting these in, which is definitely what I'm gonna do because even if they did not rip, the thickness and the way that they like hold true is like, you did a good thing here, Christian. You're an idiot and you over edited any, everything, but. I'm glad you overworked and put too much effort into these shoelaces. That's all I got. Hell yeah, Dan. <laughs> At this point, the white shoelaces are probably sold out because last time I checked, they were really low, but hopefully the black ones are still there, and if not, then I will definitely re-up and get a lot more. But there will be a link in the description down below for you to go get some laces that will last you way longer than normal ones. And also, if you want more shoe reviews, go subscribe to my channel where they will all be, and I love you ride channel because this is where I started my YouTubing and my making videos. So thank you for that. I love you guys. Parts of my life that are very happy making videos with ride. I love you. And I love you too, audience, people, you, you guys, you guys are really like super cool. I love you for the most part. Not, I love the haters too. The haters is cool. Y'all get some love too. Little, all right, bye.